selecting heifer replacements that are fertile and have the maternal traits you need is really important because these animals will hopefully be in the herd for many years to come. One option for doing that is selecting bulls with maternal traits and mating those to your best cows. The other option is buying in replacements where the focus should be on heifers that are fertile and will make good mothers. So with either option it's really important that heifers calve early in the calving season. This gives them more time to recover post calving and increase conception rates in their subsequent breeding season. One option is to mate the heifers a few weeks before the main herd. When mating heifers it's a good idea to take the bull out after six weeks. By doing this you're selecting heifers that are fertile and get in calf quickly. However, you need to consider that not all the heifers will be in calf after this period, therefore you'll need more heifers to mate than you actually need for the herd. Calving heifers at two years of age may not suit everyone or every system, but it has been shown that heifers calving at two years of age will produce more calves over their lifetime than if they calved at three years of age. Okay, Mary's just been talking about the um, mature weight of cattle and the weight of replacement heifers and these heifers here they all weigh between 370 and 420 kilos. Uh, our mature cow weight is about 600 kilos which 65% of that is 390 so these are about right for bulling at 15 months old and therefore calving at two years. In order to be successful for calving at two years of age there are a few targets to remember. Heifers should be at least 65% of their mature weight at first service. For example, weighing 425 kilos at 15 months if the mature weight of the cow is 650 kilos. They should be 85% of their mature weight at the start of the second breeding season and 95% of their mature weight at the start of the third breeding season. First calvers can take up to 30 days longer to resume cycling after calving than mature cows. It's advisable to serve maiden heifers about four weeks before the main herd to give them more time to recover after calving and improve the chance of conceiving successfully for the second time. Heifers and first calvers need to grow as well as become pregnant and potentially lactate, so therefore they need to be fed well and ideally grouped separately to minimise bullying for mature cows. Selecting a bull with easy calving for heifers is vitally important because you don't want any problems at calving with the heifers because that's going to have a negative impact going forward on their bullying and fertility. It's also important to look at calving with cows as well as heifers because again any calving difficulties may lead to reduced cycling, other health problems which is then going to have an impact on fertility next time around. If you're thinking about using synchronisation and artificial insemination, then it's worth thinking about the advantages and disadvantages of both. Labour can be one big impact when it comes to making that decision. For synchronisation and artificial insemination, it's going to reduce your labour inputs at calving time because you're going to have the, them all calving closer together. But if you look at service time, because of the handling of um, injecting them for the synchronisation and then getting them in for serving, then that's going to increase your labour time and costs at that period. But if we look at the benefits of using AI, we can look at the benefits of the genetic merit of the bulls. We can choose bulls that we're targeting for heifers with calving ease. But we can also bring in different genetics to the herd, which may be improving your herd as it goes forward. The semen quality is potentially more reliable with artificial insemination because a natural bull there can always be issues, whereas with artificial insemination it should have been checked before. The same goes with disease in that point, in that artificial insemination the semen will have all been checked and cleared of disease, whereas with a natural bull you're never sure what's going on. Conception rate with artificial insemination may be slightly lower than with a natural service, so you may need more heifers to start with to ensure you get the number of replacements you want at the end of the day. You need to have good handling facilities for doing artificial insemination and synchronisation because you're going to be handling the animals frequently and you want them safe and secure when you're doing the actual insemination. Weighing up the costs, you've really just got to weigh up the costs of the drugs for the, the synchronisation and the vet time with the artificial insemination if you're using that against the cost of ma maintaining the bull throughout the year when he's not being used.